Welcome to Seals on the Move, I'm Alex Seals. And I am Rosie Seals. We've been shrunk down to the size of a toy and we are playing mini golf inside of a toy box. This is Toy Box Mini Golf in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and we'll show you the mini golf side and the candy slash toy store. So let's get a move on with Seals on the Move. This is an 18-hole, 10,000-plus square foot mini golf course. If you decide to come play, check out PigeonForge.com. We were able to find a $2 off coupon on the site. The employee applied the coupon to us both, so we got $4 off. If you decide to play toy box style, there are additional activities you will perform at each hole. The price at the time of this video is $16.99 for adults, $11.99 for 11 and younger. I would suggest purchasing tickets in person as they charge a convenience fee online and you cannot use the previously mentioned coupon online. Rosie's ready to pick out her ball. We're ready to get started. Oh, and she's showing us a Lego person, scorecard. Oh, look, some coupons. Look at all the different colors we have to choose from. I'm definitely gonna go for blue. What about you, Rosie? I'm sure you're probably going for the same you, thing. Are you going for blue? Yeah. Okay, I'll go for purple. Wow, ah, that's good. Oh, it's perfect. Look, look, perfect. And it matches your right shirt, and it matches... I'm wearing blue as well. You can't see that, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rosie, which color do you want ball? I think I'm going for darker blue. Darker blue? Okay, I went for light blue. So, good choice. Let's get started. So, yeah, you go out of this area come out this way. We come out to the mini golf. The giant Rock'em Sock'em robots. And you know, some Christmas ornaments. And look, they've even got uh, some, um, what do you call it? Uh, cornhole and some Connect Four. They even have different stuff for different players to do. Like take your first putt standing on one foot, close your eyes on your first putt, first putt no peeking. Huh, interesting. All in an etch a sketch. I'm going to have to avoid getting hit by the robots as I hit this and go through here. I can probably get a hole in two on this one. I think what you're supposed to do here is kind of angle it off the leg, but I didn't do that. Rosie almost got punched by that guy. <laughs> she leaned over to get her ball and her or her uh, her putter. Let's see how Rosie will do. Oh. Oh, I was thinking maybe it would be a hole in one. Scoot the GoPro over, sure. <laughs> That's fine. There, let's get this. Perfect. So it looks like with this hole, it's all ridges and everything. So we just have to get it over the holes. There's no really toy on this course, or this, uh, whatever you call it. <laughs> Watch over the GoPro. Dude! How's she gonna do? If it hadn't been for that hill, Rosie would have gone would have done well. Once again, the GoPro's in your way. <laughs> I wonder what that noise is. Well, no, there was something else too. Okay, Rosie, come on, you can get it in three. We know you can. Oh, you were robbed. That was not fair. You were robbed. <laughs> so close. Come on, you can do it. Oh, too hard, too hard. The hill's not that bad. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be terrible this one. Once again. <laughs> <laughs> Poor GoPro.
There you go. That was seven. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have to say for that, Rosie? That was, that was awful. I can do better next time. So this course basically just has a hole or just has a hill. So once again, there's a Lego. I think we're, we're going to get into more of the themed areas a little bit later. The ducks are causing a traffic jam. <laughs> okay. You can do it in one. You can get a hole in one. Come on, Rosie. I, I don't like the hill too much. <laughs> oh, you did the same exact thing I did, pretty much. Now, the is how hard do I hit it? Not too hard, but a little bit hard. Oh! Oh! Oh, come on, Rosie. Oh, oh you got to put a little bit more, more behind it. Oh, maybe not that much. <laughs> well, so, well, you're going back to the beginning. <laughs> oh, you're, you're almost leaving the course. I'm going to stand off the course. <laughs> Uh, same thing as the first time. Oh, it's the, it's the, oh, it's a, it's an, uh, um, Alien Invaders? Is that the name of it? I need to brush up on my 80s games. Oh, <laughs> that'll look cool. So we have a doll that reminds me of Angelica from Rugrats inside of a, an RC car, it looks like. And it's making noise. A giggling kid in a revving car. And the course is sort of in the shape of a heart. Now I'm thinking a hole in one might be possible on this one, but there is a little bit of a ridge there. You run the risk. Yeah, so much for that hole in one. Yeah. Every time. Five. Okay, Rosie. Can you beat this giggling little girl? Ah, uh, straight down the hill. You can do it, Rosie. Ooh, you made it back up. You're in a better position than I was, I think. Just don't hit it down the hill. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Rosie, you can do it. You're basically just hitting it back and forth. <laughs> The GoPro worked against you this time. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> now all you 80s kids will love this one. Look at this. Is it Space Invaders? Am I getting that right? I'm also think thinking Galaga, but this is not Galaga. This is Space Invaders, yes. I was born in the 80s but I grew up in the 90s, so I'm more of a 16-bit era than the arcade era. So it's time to defeat the Space Invaders. 
one seems like it should be easy, but I don't think it is. Oh, I hit the ground. That might actually help me. They got me. Oh my gosh, look how close that is. Four. Four when it should have been two. It should have been two, yes. You do it, Rosie. You might still do better than me, though. You're on two. Three, yep, you did better than me. I did four, you did three. It's about time. <laughs> Made it to the Green Army Men. Kind of Toy Story themed, I guess. They're in Toy Story. And look, he's holding the flag. Like in real golf. Or, you know, like military maneuvers. You know, it's hot out here and it's the end of February and this is Tennessee. We're not in Florida or anything. <laughs> so it's now time for the military maneuver. Well, I'm close at least. See, that's one so far. Jump, fly, flip, dunk, and climb your way from top jump, trampoline, and extreme oh marine. Oh my gosh, did it bounce off the hole? Yeah, it bounced up on, no, I didn't even hit the hole, but it bounced up on that. Put your scared to the test in the fire and ice ninja group. Ooh, got any of our clips? It's gonna be another four for me. Okay, that's what should have been three. Yep, four. That should have been three, though. Probably should have been two. Well, he's celebrating for you, look. Woohoo! Well, thank you, dude. Look, Rosie, this guy over here, he's cheering for you. He's ready to throw a grenade at anybody who gets in your way. You can you can switch if you want to. Yeah, it's so you can get a better angle. But I'm wondering, like... It might be better for the one closer to me. Yeah, one? if you want to try. Why not? Might not. Four! You, we got the same. Way to go. Well, I hope you're not sorry you've made it this far with us. Yeah, I know. Bad pun. But we're at the sorry board. One thing about this course is there's a little, like, kind of depression in there that you gotta get in. So once you get it in that depression, I think it would just go straight in the hole. Let's see. I got a hole in one, and I'm not sorry about it. <laughs> it does. It's 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 a depression. See if you look at it, it's it's a depression in there, so it helps you get the hole in one. Hey, Rosie. Oh, oh, and you're behind the blue sorry piece. It's behind the blue sorry piece. It blends in because it's blue too. No, there's no way I can get this in. Yeah, probably not even a hole in two. How'd you get it at that angle? <laughs> Is there like a, oh, there's a little bit of a hill there. Oh! Oh, it did, it bounced. It bounced, you got right, that's four. Five. Oh. Oh, honey. Oh. 
Oh! Oh, I can't even see it. Your shadow's covering it. That was six. <laughs> you just have something against that GoPro, don't you? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> okay, I think that was nine. Well, nine, but you gotta take away two because look at the GoPro. Okay, we'll give, you we'll give you seven. We'll give you seven. You wanna take oh. a minute and explain why you wore your socks? Uh, yeah, Pizza Planet. So if you look over there, you can see Rex from Toy Story. So it's a toy themed golf course. So of course, Pizza Planet. Now, what about the pins on your hat and your oh, hat? Oh, um, well, we've got one from Goofy Movie, and then the other one is a Taco Bell pin. Got at the. Okay, lean down a, a moment. Got it at the uh, all digital Taco Bell in Times Square. And then, of course, he, he of course he had to wear his Disney hat. Yes, this is an old school Disney hat, early 2000s. It's a Splash Mountain, which is not even there anymore. Well, this is probably something Rosie will enjoy more than me, but you got Barbie's dream house here, or a nice off-brand Barbie, I guess you could say. Her dream house isn't much of a dream, really. There's not much in it. So you can hit it through the bottom, and it's up on like a, what, what would you say, a little mini volcano, <laughs> the, way it, the way it's shaped, but yeah. And there you can see Rosie through Barbie's dream house. <laughs> or at the table. So do you think I can hit it in an arc through one of the windows in Barbie's dream house and down into the hole? We'll have to see. I'm not actually gonna do that. <laughs> this isn't Pixar, but. That was awesome. That was awesome. Okay, let's see, can Rosie do it? Ooh, not quite hard enough. I thought it was going to be with that. <laughs> It bounced out. Believe me, I couldn't repeat what I did earlier. Poor little Rosie. This is just your day, isn't it? <laughs> I guess. Ooh, just hitting it a little too hard. I can't quite get that right. You're too powerful, all that working out. Oh, honey. Okay, at least I'm having fun, right? Yeah, exactly. There you go, 10. You got 10. Are you counting those 10? So you got, I, I got 10% of what you made. Way to go brag. I actually, I actually did math. <laughs> Here we have an interesting take on Hot Wheels. These are just pieces of the track. The reason why I know it's Hot Wheels is because over here, we actually have Hot Wheels. <laughs> I like how they did the toy box mini golf in the basically Hot Wheels logo. And they're crashing. So this one, you can hit it up on the pieces of Hot Wheels track to try to get it into the hole in the hole. Down. You want it to go in the top one. Yeah. There she goes. Oh. You missed the uh you missed the track. But you might have a better shot than I did because you missed it. If you get three, you've got me even. You're even to me.
You did it! Three! Way to go! So on this one, I think I've got to ricochet it off of the Lego. But not from that side. <laughs> I think I get a, an extra stroke. Oh I my think gosh, it counts you, as two because I went out of bounds. You actually got it off the course. Yeah. That counts as two. I'll just put it right there. It is hot for February. Summer. Not really. Well, it's hot it though. Like it. Let's see if you can ricochet. Well, you did much better than me. Oh, it's rolling. Oh, there's a hill. Oh, well, it's primed you up for a good shot. The problem is, I have a tendency to hit it too hard. <laughs> you don't know your own strength. Oh, two. two! Way to go. Is that your lowest that you've done so far? Yes, it is. Uh, I think that is. Okay, I did. I had four, you had two. So our next course, it looks like the Play-Doh people have invaded it a little bit, even though it's not the actual Play-Doh course. So this one's got a whole hill and everything. Play-Doh and Legos. Ah, oh, there's a hole up top to hit it in. Right there. So there's multiple holes. There's a trench, a hole, and a hole. And I think the farthest one up is the one you want to go to. There's no. a hole right there. There's a third hole? Yep. Three. Oh man, that should have been three. Yeah, see you got the trench there. Then it has to be got the hole. Nothing. And then you got the hole that goes through there. And they all come out in different ways. What do you can't different say places. From here? Well, you're gonna be stuck with the uh, Lego. The Lego is gonna trap you. Oh, the trench. Oh, you're not too bad behind the Lego. Six. So six and I had four, I think. Yeah. No bragging. Here's the hole for Rosie. If you saw our last Chuck E. Cheese video, you'll understand why. If not, you should go watch that one to find out why. Found a ladybug. Huh, it's a yellow ladybug too. There it goes. There's a hill we have to get up on this one to get it over to the slinky. Oops. <laughs> I just gotta crouch down to get it. Alright, hopefully this will be a hole in two. Do! Can Rosie make a hole in one on her hole? Let's see. Whoa, that was loud. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It's blending in, yeah. You have to duck down to get to it. Well, I'm also not staying close to my thing right. Yeah. Here we go, let's see. Three! Way to go, Rosie. Now this one's a neat design. I'm lucky you got more of the desert soldiers here. That might be really cool. Yeah, which... That's a light over there. Oh yeah, that is a light. It'll give away his position, though. Yeah, 
It's not a terrible position, but not great. Oh, you're pulling a Rosie now. I know. That's mine. My signature move, hitting the ball too hard. I think I'm just getting tired. Well, and it is getting hot out here. It wasn't this hot when we started. That's pretty much what I did. Let's see if she can do it. That guy just gets in the way every time. Ooh, so close. The GoPro and the Army Man caught it. And the flag's getting, <laughs> the flag getting in your face. <laughs> So we got the Rubik's Cube here for all you 80s kids. Never been good at the Rubik's Cube. What about you, Rosie? It's a puzzle. You like puzzles. I used to be. I just haven't done it in years. I don't know anymore. So you actually hit it through at the bottom of the Rubik's Cube into the hole. So this should be interesting. And over basically a little hill. There goes Rosie at the Rubik's Cube. Oh, it's going straight for me. Are you aiming for me? <laughs> Let's see, can you do a hole in two as well? Actually, it's more of a sunken in hole, so hopefully that'll help you a bit. Oh, you went it right above the, right above the, uh, the, the depression. <laughs> you can do it. Three. So here's the age old war between wrestling toys, or luchador toys, I guess more specifically, and Play-Doh monsters. It's a tale as old as time. Who will win? The outcome's yet to be told. Although it does say he's the uh, toy box champion, so maybe he's the winner. Who knows? They put that ridge over there so it can't bounce back into the hole. You might be safer not going over the hill because the hill did hurt me. Ricocheted off the hill. You pretty much did the opposite of what I did. Same thing, but just on the opposite side. You can blame it on the GoPro. <laughs> That's not bad. You're definitely improving as the day goes on, Rosie. That's good. Now, let us know in the comments, how many of you would consider chess a toy? I wouldn't consider chess a toy. It's more of an adult's game. I played it as a kid, and I learned the game, but I still wouldn't consider it a toy. Let's get Rosie's opinion. Rosie, what do you think? Would you consider chess a toy? I wouldn't. I wouldn't, no. No. So let us know in the comments what you think. So the hole is on an incline behind the... Um, what do they call those? Those rooks? Those castle piece, so. <laughs> It's been so long since I played chess. I always call them castles. Yeah. Where did it go? It's right over there. See, that's where the hole is. 
Oh, oh so that's so if you don't get it just right, it's gonna roll backwards. Yeah. You can tell we're getting near the end. Oh! 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 oh so close. It's not a very friendly hole. Six. That's one of my worst holes. Let's see how Rosie does from the safety of the castle. Wow, you did really well. Like it's it's hard. It's, I feel like either way. You might need to move the GoPro. It's gonna be in your way. Okay, I know, it just gets thrown around. Oh, you were robbed. Oh. Came around your back. So you're at three. Doing better than me. That should have gone in. Ooh, that was too hard. I did that earlier too. I don't even know where to, where to go. I know, you kind of just have to get into a better position. Stay, stay, <laughs> stay. So you're at five, you're close to where I was at. At least I've won this hole. Seven, not bad. Not for this hole. This is the last hole. That's not technically, that over there is the last hole, but it's not working today. So this will be the last hole for us today. It's Rex, but I don't think it's actually supposed to be Rex at the same time. Because <laughs> I don't think it's a licensed Rex uh, figure. Let's see Rosie do this. She can do good. You got a hole in one! Whoa! I did! Way to go! I'm the last one too! Yeah! This is the hole that is closed. Technically, this is, we only did 17 because the 18 hole is closed. Rosie, did you have one of these little the, um, light brights? Yes. You and did in Africa? Yes, it was oh, a metal one. Oh, I had a, I think mine was metal. Yeah. I prefer the metal ones to the plastic ones. They just seem more durable. Yeah, I remember playing with those. I enjoyed those. Yep, this hole is out of order. And so you can see there's a bunch of balls stuck in the back if you really look. You couldn't get them through even if you wanted to just try. I guess whatever lights up. I don't know. I wonder how this one works. No, I'm not sure what this is. It says spin to win. And you win different prizes. Spin like this? I think you just press the button. Oh, it's working. I think. It landed on green. So you get a free Tootsie Pop? Yes. I guess? Huh. I don't know. After you're done playing miniature golf, you can do Jenga and try to build a tower as tall as this one. You can do Connect Four. And you can do Cornhole. Much. Oh, I was, I was playing with a little kid one. No wonder I had to bend over so much. <laughs> <laughs>
So now we're here in the gift shop, candy store, toy store, whatever, and they have some crazy sodas here too. Like they even have like a Mega Man soda, which is kind of neat. And just all sorts of candy. And just all sorts of toys. And they do have a laser maze that you can do as a separate cost. A giant uh, gummy pizza, gummy watermelon, gummy gator. I like how the, the bathrooms are Lego people. That's funny. It's very funny. And of course, one of these machines that seem to be like a tourist spots all over. Look, even some Disney stuff. A lot of Disney stuff. They have Toy Story, which is, makes sense considering they have some Toy Story themed stuff, and we don't talk about him. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. They don't have any Mr. Potato Head type stuff out there, but I guess it's hard to emulate him without risking trademark. Oh, and they have Sonic. <laughs> they have Sonic with. Oh, wow! It's a mighty stuffed animal. That is so cool. I kind of want that. I would have had to have had this as a kid. A robotic tumbling hedgehog. It's so cool. I remember these things. You press the bottom of them and they fall over. <laughs> these cow things too. Well, they're supposed to move. Uh, there we go. Oh, poor pug. It's a pug stress ball. What was he? Found a butterfly surprise. What are these things? Bog ones. Made of rubber. Huh. Interesting. Oh, here's one that's actually out. It's weird. Huh. Little building blocks that kind of look like those things in uh, Crossy Road. Speaking of a light bright earlier, they have light brights. And it looks just like the plastic one, except I guess it's a bigger, brighter screen. Now you said in our Chuck E. Cheese video you preferred the plastic ones. I don't know, did I say that? Yeah. I really don't know because these go better like, That's a on, giant one too, on that's stairs. bigger than normal. These go better on stairs if you have like yeah. a staircase and you put it at the top and you make it go down. Yeah. The metal ones do better. I always liked these as a kid. The frogs with the beans in them. Glitter frogs. What'd you find? Oh, a bouncy ball. The monster inside? Or is that a fish? Monster fish? Monster fish, <laughs> that tell. works. That works. Hey look, a taco cat. I guess there's a cat in there somewhere. <laughs> Kool-Aid puzzle. Mandalorian drone so Grogu can fly around. It's funny that I mentioned that that doll outside looked like Angelica. Because they have Rugrats minifigures, but no Angelica. To me, this is the most random toy. It's a dinosaur skeleton head on wheels. Just weird. So for spinning the wheel, Rosie gets a free piece of candy. Which one are you gonna choose? Those are pretty good. I remember those from when I was a kid. What are they called again? Oh, it's a Smarty Lollipop. We got ices and all sorts of stuff. Umbrellas. <laughs> we got snacks, nachos, nuts, fucking donuts, coffee. If you like clean comedy, you can check out my old friend Drew Davis. He's a professional comedian who can be seen on YouTube and you can follow him on Instagram. The links are in the description. Plus, maybe you can catch him at a show near you. Have you ever seen someone complain about a Little Caesars pizza at the cashier? You never have. This is how they'd go. They'd be like, excuse me, sir, this is just a cardboard box with pizza sauce on it. Uh, I was kind of expecting something more. And you know what the person say? like, and? It is warm and in your hands. We have done our job. I like to think I'm kind of the Little Caesars of comedy. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Do you think chess is a toy? Let us know in the comments. If you like this episode, give us a thumbs up. Share this with your duffer friends, subscribe to stay up to date with our adventures, and strike the bell to be notified when we upload. 
If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is down below. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.